Hey guys, Tom here again from SynthHacker.com. Just got a super short video for you today covering a really nice kind of dreamy digital key synth. Kind of reminds me of like medicine sounds or producers like Sam Galatry. But yeah, we'll have a listen to how it sounds and then we'll begin making it from scratch. So this preset is actually super straightforward. I think it sounds really great even with no external processing. The idea for this patch came from experimenting with one of Serum's digital wavetables called Prime. As you can tell, like straight away, the wavetable has quite a nice like digital bit crush character, putting us straight into that kind of medicine territory. To add a subtle amount of tonal modulation over time, we're also gonna add an LFO in envelope mode to the wavetable position, as well as just quickly setting up our amplitude to give it a more key-like shape. Because this is a key sound, we're also gonna make it respond to the velocity of the incoming MIDI notes by dragging the velocity mod source onto the amplitude. We're also gonna go into the modulation matrix and use the note on random modulation source to modulate the pan of oscillator A. This just kind of spreads the incoming MIDI notes across the stereo field, which is an effect I really, really like on this type of key sound. To thicken the sound up, we're also gonna add five voices of detuned unison. So although the unison also adds stereo width of its own, when combined with the random note modulation, this just creates a really kind of nice organic stereo sound. To help add to the kind of bright digital key sound we're going for, we're also just gonna add some bright white noise pitched up 12 semitones. So to add some finishing touches and really go for that dreamy sound we're after, we're also gonna add some whole reverb using a separate pluck-like envelope to modulate the reverb mix amount. The purpose of this envelope is to still let some of the transients of the keys cut through the reverb, even though we are going for a very kind of spacey sound. So finally, just to clean up some of the low frequencies of the sound and also just create that bright sound we're after, we're also gonna add a high pass EQ. So there we have it, the sound is pretty much there. I know it's kind of a shorter video than usual, but from here you could just go crazy with external processing. If it's a little bit too bright, you could also add a filter in the effects um, just to kind of tame that a little bit. But yeah, let me know if you enjoyed the video, if you have any other requests for other videos or types of sounds as well. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.